Fox 32 has information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. The store can't hit to the gas station. He went, it's on his live. All the evidence is on this boy's live. Okay. He said, oh, I got him now. I'm going to pull up now and jump out. He jumped off the car. He was recording with his phone, walked up to our car, and then we was bagging out. We pulled over right here. Okay. And it should be on their cameras, too. So you'll see. I'm happy that uh, justice is, is being served. Millions of dollars hidden away, a lavish life built on lies, and now the downfall everyone's been waiting for. Tiffany Henyard, the so-called super mayor, has finally turned herself in after a shocking FBI raid uncovered her dark secret. She's been living like a queen while her town drowned in debt. Her high-rolling, jet-setting lifestyle funded by taxpayer money is crashing down, and now she faces up to 25 years behind bars. This is the scandal that will blow the lid off everything. Tiffany Henyard, the once untouchable super mayor of South Chicago, is now staring down 22 federal charges. Not just for your average corruption, either. This is millions of dollars in taxpayer money allegedly mishandled and straight-up hidden. The FBI had been watching her for months, and after subpoenas and backdoor whispers, they finally made their move. But what truly hits hard? The fact that this isn't the first time Henyard's been behind bars. Before, it was vehicle trespass. Now she's facing a list of charges long enough to guarantee serious prison time Tiffany doesn't care. Not about you, not about the residents of Dalton, Illinois, and definitely not about the town's finances. While her city crumbles, she's cruising around in a taxpayer-funded motorcade, flaunting her power like it's her personal playground. Wait till you hear how Henyard turned Dalton's piggy bank into her personal shopping fund. How does a town go from flush to broke in 365 days? Two words, Mayor Moneybags. Tiffany wasn't just living large, she was living double extra large on Dalton's dime. We're talking about a small town mayor with big city dreams and an even bigger appetite for luxury. While the good people of Dalton were struggling to make ends meet, their fearless leader was out here acting like she won the lottery. Picture this, a $7,700 shopping spree at Target, Walgreens, and Wayfair, all in one day, September 1st, 2023. That's not just a little retail therapy, that's a full-on shopping assault. And guess who was footing the bill? That's right, the hardworking taxpayers of Dalton. And Mayor Henyard wasn't about to fly coach like the rest of us peasants. Nah, she was all about that first-class life. And why stop at fancy flights? Our girl Tiffany even hired a professional hair and makeup team. Because apparently, running a town into the ground requires looking fabulous 24-7. Now, you might be thinking, how bad could it really be? In just one year, Henyard's administration managed to rack up over $102,000 in travel expenses. Dalton went from having a nice little surplus of $5.6 million to being $3.6 million in the red in one year. And while Dalton was going broke faster than a contestant on a spending game show, Henyard was living it up like a real housewife of Illinois. The outrage was so real that they actually had to ban Henyard from using village credit cards for unapproved purchases. Imagine being the mayor and getting your allowance cut off. Y'all thought the spending spree was wild? Buckle up, because we're about to take a detour down Mama Henyard's driveway. And let me tell you, it's paved with more than just good intentions. Turns out she wasn't just treating herself she was spreading the love to her family too. And by love, I mean a whole lot of taxpayer cash. We're talking about a cool $561,000 spent on repaving her mother's driveway. You heard that right? Over half a million bucks for one driveway. Our Dalton diva didn't stop at family renovations. Nah, she decided the town's police force would make a great personal security detail. Because who needs cops patrolling the streets when you've got a mayor to chauffeur around town? While the good people of Dalton are wondering where all the cops went, Henyard's got them running errands like they're her personal task rabbit. One former police chief spilled the tea. We needed those officers to be on the street fighting crime. And instead, we have several officers that are riding around protecting the mayor. While Henyard's living like she's got her own secret service, the rest of Dalton's left wondering if there's anyone left to answer a 911 call. But Tiffany wasn't about to let a little thing like rules stop her party. Even after getting her plastic privileges revoked, she kept the good times rolling. It's like she thought being mayor meant being queen of her own little kingdom. Despite being cut off by the Illinois State Comptroller for reckless spending, Henyard still threw a massive party for the suburban town, using $50,000 to pay for just an hour's worth of performance. 
performances. Kiki Wyatt and Jay Holiday each walked away with a cool $30,000 and $20,000 respectively for just 30-minute sets. If that wasn't wild enough, she spent an additional $36,000 on sound systems, staff, equipment, comedians, and even $6,600 just on bounce houses. Yeah, bounce houses. Meanwhile, the town's residents like Jennifer Roberts were left fuming. She told WGN9, that's my money, that's the people's money. Former trustee Valeria Stubbs didn't hold back either, calling the event a total flop, with only around 70 people showing up. Stubbs didn't mince words. She likes to use our tax dollars to promote herself. And according to another resident, Sherry Britton, Henyard isn't going to give up easily. Tiffany is a narcissist. She's going to do whatever she wants to do. It's not going to stop until they put cuffs on her. While everyone was watching the FBI and angry taxpayers, they missed the real plot twist. Remember that quiet assistant always trailing behind Henyard? Turns out she was the one holding the matches that would burn it all down. Meet Carmen Carlyle, Tiffany Henyard's former right-hand woman. She was Henyard's trusted sidekick, the one who knew where all the bodies were buried, figuratively speaking, of course. But something made her flip. Maybe it was a guilty conscience, or maybe she just got fed up with watching Dalton get robbed blind. Whatever the reason, Carlyle decided it was time to sing like a canary. This lady went from fetching coffee to dropping bombs on her ex-boss's whole operation. For two years, Carlyle had a front row seat to all of Henyard's shenanigans. And let me tell you, she saw enough to make your head spin. Carlyle went straight to the feds with a stack of receipts taller than Henyard's ego. She spilled all the tea about how Henyard was running Dalton like her personal piggy bank. We're talking about manipulating employees, vendors, and residents all while flashing that million-dollar smile for the cameras. In Carlyle's own words, for the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors, and residents, using her position to increase her influence, all while projecting a false image of success, funded by the hard-working taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton. After Carlyle started talking, she got attacked. And I'm not talking about a mean tweet or some nasty gossip. We're talking physical attack. Now nobody's pointing fingers, but word on the street is that Henyard might have had something to do with it. Carlisle wasn't the only one jumping ship though. Remember Keith Freeman, Henyard's former aide? Well, he's in hot water too, facing charges for bankruptcy fraud. But here's the thing, rumor has it he's singing to the FBI too. Henyard's been known to intimidate trustees, silencing anyone who tries to expose her shady dealings. And when firing them didn't work, she used taxpayer dollars to make sure she was always in the spotlight, literally. Her face is everywhere from billboards to government buildings, like some dystopian nightmare. The worst part? It's not just financial damage. Lives are being affected. Survivors of her misconduct have finally started speaking out, sharing heartbreaking stories of financial ruin and intimidation tactics. This isn't just a corrupt mayor, this is a woman who's turned an entire community upside down. Just when Henyard thought she dodged a bullet, she found herself in the crosshairs of an even bigger gun. The FBI doesn't play around with pocket change, so what kind of money are we really talking about here? Word on the street is that the feds are digging deep into Tiffany Henyard's finances, and they're not messing around. We're talking subpoenas flying left and right, demanding everything from credit card statements to personnel files. The drama kicked off when the FBI started sniffing around Dalton's town hall. They weren't there for a friendly visit, that's for sure. Nope, they came armed with legal papers, ready to uncover every penny Henyard might have misplaced. And these subpoenas? They're exposing every detail of Henyard's lavish lifestyle. We're talking about those fancy trips she took, the security detail that followed her around like she was a Kardashian, and every single dime that might have slipped from the town's coffers into her designer purse. The FBI isn't just poking around Henyard's official business, they're diving into her personal life too. That cancer charity she's so proud of under the microscope. Her political action committee? They want to see those books too. Even her private business ventures are getting the third degree. It's like the feds are playing connect the dots with Henyard's finances, and they're not liking the picture that's forming. Trustee Brittany Norwood spilled the tea saying, We have been asking for someone to come out here and save us. There have been a lot of spending that we're not really privy of, and we've been asking for answers. Sounds like the town's been crying for help, and the FBI finally heard them. 
The feds aren't just interested in Henyard. They're casting a wide net, pulling in her political buddies and anyone who might have had their hand in the cookie jar. Word is, the FBI's got some high-tech tricks up their sleeve. They're using electronic surveillance to catch any sneaky business Henyard and her crew might be up to. While all this is going down, Henyard's still sitting pretty in her mayor's chair. Can you believe it? The feds are circling, the town's in an uproar, and she's acting like it's business as usual. Some people in Dalton are getting real antsy, wondering why justice seems to be moving so slow. The people of Dalton are fed up. They've been watching their town go down the drain while Henyard lives it up like she's on some reality show. Just when everyone thought Henyard was gonna keep fighting, she pulled the ultimate Uno reverse card. Picture this. The FBI's closing in, her inner circles falling apart, and suddenly, she decides to turn herself in? What could make a small-town mayor with a taste for luxury choose a jail cell over her lavish lifestyle? Yeah, Tiffany allegedly just walked herself right into the FBI's hands. Can you believe it? One minute she's acting like everything's fine, the next she's turning herself in like it's no big deal. Word on the street is that Henyard's got a plan. Some people are saying she's trying to cut a deal with the feds. You know, get a little leniency in exchange for spilling some tea on her partners in crime. But here's the thing, Henyard's surrender isn't just about her. The whole town of Dalton's been waiting for this moment, holding their breath to see if justice would ever come knocking. And boy, did it knock loud. Remember how Henyard was all about that glam life? Well, seems like she traded in her designer duds for a jumpsuit. It's a far cry from those fancy first-class flights and personal makeup artists she was so fond of. As if that's not enough, her own lawyer just bailed. Yep, the woman can't even pay her own legal bills. Ironic, considering she's been raking in over $220,000 a year. But how does someone like her get there? Let's just say she inherited her cushy township supervisor position, and with it, a fat paycheck. And she's already tried to rig the system, passing a shady ordinance that'd drop the next supervisor's salary down to $25,000, just so no one would dare run against her. That's the level of twisted control we're talking about here. The outrage has been simmering for years, with residents holding rallies demanding justice. It's even gotten so bad that they're calling in Lori Lightfoot to help clean up this mess for $400 an hour. Think about that for a second. How bad do things have to be for people to call in the former mayor of Chicago just to try and fix their crumbling town? Henyard's lavish spending and total disregard for the law didn't go unnoticed for long. With Dalton facing a debt nearing $20 million, the residents are desperate for a hero to step in and save them from this chaos. And let's not forget about all those missing millions. Just because Henyard might have turned herself in doesn't mean that money's magically gonna reappear. The town's still in a financial mess, and people are wondering if they'll ever see a dime of that cash again. The mayor who once splurged $40,000 on Amazon in a single day is now under federal investigation. The Illinois State Comptroller even cut off state payments to the town, halting $135,000 that Dalton desperately needed. And if you think Henyard's just dealing with financial scandals, think again. She's facing a lawsuit from former employee Dwayne Thrash, who claims he was fired for refusing to go along with one of Henyard's schemes. Some people in Dalton are actually breathing a sigh of relief. Can you imagine being so fed up with your mayor that you're happy to see her in handcuffs? It's like the whole town's been living under a dark cloud, and now they're finally seeing a ray of sunshine. Henyard's downfall wasn't just about money. Her reputation crumbled with allegations of sexual misconduct during city trips, wrongful terminations, and even accusations of sexual assault against employees. But here's where things get murky. Whether or not Henyard has actually turned herself in is still up in the air. Some are speculating she might be playing the system, holding out for a deal or trying to protect someone higher up. And while no one's sure if she's behind bars yet, residents are hopeful it won't be long. Comments like, why is this woman not in jail? And why is she still the mayor? Why isn't she in prison already? Our justice system is so corrupt are becoming more frequent as the pressure mounts. One thing is clear, Tiffany Henyard isn't backing down easily, and the fight is far from over. So what's next for Dalton? Well, that's the million dollar question. With their mayor behind bars and their bank account in shambles, the town's got a long road ahead. But for the first time in a long time, there's a sense of hope in the air. It's like the town can finally start to heal. Yeah, see, the whole Tiffany Henyard situation, the Tiffany Henyard situation is crazy, you know, it's a crazy situation, and um, 
I mean, she's right where she belongs, right? <laughs> she's right in my soul where she belongs, right? So that's how the cookie crumbles, you know? This is what happens when you steal from an entire town. You, this is what happens. You think you can get away with this? No. This is why we should never elect someone based off of, like, identity politics and, like, like, woke and like wokeism you know what i mean like you have to hire you have to like elect someone based off of their talents their merits their leadership traits <laughs> all of these things these are the reasons that you elect someone you don't elect someone because they're uh because it's progressive to do so you know i think tiffany henyard won the election in uh dalton because it was progressive to do so you know what i mean y'all get what i'm getting at you, you pick, you're picking up what i'm putting down you know what i'm getting at and the whole thing with that is that that's not the, that's not how you should run things. You know what I mean? That's not how you run a town. That is not how you run a city. That's not how you run a town. That's not how you run anything. You know, that is now anything is ran. OK, things are ran based off of a protocol and 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 logical steps that are taken. You know what I mean? You, you have to have a protocol and then you have to follow that protocol with these logical steps that you will take to ensure that the process is gone. It goes through smoothly. You understand? And that's how you elect someone. That's how you have a whole system run. You understand? But you cannot have a system run off of based off of um, someone who they think will be good for the job. Yeah, y'all might have thought Tiffany Hanger will be good for the job, but she's not actually the best. She's not even good. You know what I mean? And that's where y'all messed up. That's where the people in Dalton messed up. You know what I mean? Like, yes, we do have to, we do, yes, we, we should be condemning Tiffany Henyard for stealing from an entire town of her own people, for stealing, to blow it on Louis Vuitton bags, to blow it lavishly, to blow it on Amazon, on Amazon, <laughs> on purchases, okay? So that she could order a bunch of, what, what, a bunch of nonsense from Amazon, okay? 43 bands in Amazon. She spent, like, what, 60 bands on some 30-minute performances? Bro, but this is the thing, you know, yes, we do need to, t to condemn Tiffany Henyard, but this is where the people need to take some accountability too. No, because y'all elected Tiffany Henyard and she wouldn't be elected if it wasn't for the people. This is not the same thing as the presidential election. The presidential election is actually, um, the president is actually voted in by the electoral college. So the popular vote is not real. Like the popular vote is, is it, it, it's meaningless. It has no merit, no value, and it means nothing. Your vote is irrelevant when it comes to the presidential election. Please understand, okay? The only thing that matters in the presidential election is the electoral voters, okay? And electoral voters, there's a representative in each state. There's an electoral voter for each and every state. There's an electoral voter, right? And sometimes there's flip states. Sometimes they vote differently, but pretty much... However those states vote, that's who the president is going to be. That's why um, Trump won in 2016 or whatever that election was. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's why he won against Hillary, even though she had the she had won the popular vote. He won the electoral vote, which is the real vote that matters. You understand? That's the only vote that's relevant. Your vote is irrelevant. Understand as a human being, okay? But when it comes to the mayor, when it comes to... Um, like town level, city level, and state level, when it comes to those things, those are actually within the people's control, okay? So the people like me and you, we actually do elect the mayor. There's no electoral voter doing that. The electoral voters are, don't, don't elect the mayor. They don't elect the mayor. They don't elect the governor. They don't elect, um, they don't elect anyone from a town, state, or city level, okay? So that would follow those people that I've just listed, those, those, um, those those sections those branches that i've just listed um that would affect that would be those so when it comes to the governor when it comes to the mayor when it comes to anyone at that level we we actually do elect those people me and you me and you our vote does matter when it comes to that so w this is where the accountability has to go on the people in the town of dalton y'all did elect tiffany henyard i don't know why y'all did that y'all had no reason to believe that tiffany henyard was going to be a good mayor what is her track record in the past? She has none. She has no credentials. She has never ran anything. She has never been a leader in any other way in history. Okay? <laughs> this is the first time she has ever led anything in history. And of course, she flopped. Okay? Of course, she 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 couldn't lead. She led she did lead and she led y'all to destruction. Okay? 
That's what happened. She led she led the, the town of Dalton to their own demise. And that's what happens a lot of times when you put when you elect someone based off of um what is progressive. You know, meaning that okay, we're just gonna put her in because she's a female, she is uh black, she's colored, she's a female, and we're gonna put her in this role. You understand? When you do that, this is how you this is how you lead to your own demise, okay? This is why we don't elect those types of individuals just because of that. You cannot elect someone just because of those things that I listed. They have to have other leadership traits. They have to have um, a, a good track record. They have to have credentials from the past. They have to have done something. They have to have shown some type of capability, some type of leadership prowess, okay? That they have the actual wherewithal to lead an entire town. That is the thing. So when you elect someone based off of what is progressive and, oh, well, it would be great if Dalton had one of their first uh, black female mayors. Oh, my God. That would be great. No, no. Guess what? That wasn't great. That was the worst thing that Dalton could ever have done in the history of their existence. And they will pay for years on end for that foolishness. Okay? This is why we don't do things because they're progressive decisions to do. No. No, 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 no. You do what is logical. You follow a protocol. And then you take the logical steps and you and you take and you um, make the background checks. You take the logical steps, then you make the background checks to make sure that that person um, is actually mentally stable and in the right mindset and in the right position to actually do this. They didn't take background checks on Tiffany Henyard. Otherwise, they would have known that she has bad spending habits. She's incredibly greedy. She's a self-centered type of person who will use other people. So that she doesn't have to take the downfall. So she'd rather spend someone else's money than spend her own. So that she'll, 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 she'll put the whole town in a deficit. There's a lot of signs that could have pointed to this person being incredibly um, selfish, right? I'm sure this is not the first time Tiffany Hanger's done something incredibly selfish. That's on record. I'm sure it isn't. I, I'm almost a thousand percent sure. If you guys had done background checks, y'all had actually um, talked to people that Tiffany Hanger knew. You know, talk to people. They will tell you. You know, the, 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 um, the, what do they call it? Um, the grapevine, the grapevine will tell you the real truth about Tiffany Hanger. And if they had done those background checks, talked to people that she knew, they would have found out, okay, no, this is a devious, evil, self-centered person, a greedy, self-centered, maniacal scumbag who will put our entire town into a great deficit, into a great depression. Okay. This is a great chaos. <laughs> like, like Ken Carson, bro. Like, why is Tiffany Hanger? Tiffany Hanger thinks she King Carson, bro. She's causing a great chaos in Dalton, bro. A great chaos. This is insane. Do you understand what's going on right now? She has put this town in a deficit that they will not recover from. So that's the entire thing. Like, that, this is deeper than anyone is ever even understanding. Like, do you grasp how important this is? She has stolen people's money. Stole. Stolen. Okay. They believed that the money was going to benefit the town and go to, you know, giving them certain rights or building things and maybe building schools or something that, um, you know, taxpayers dollars are supposed to go to. Right. These types of things. Funding certain systems that um, that will benefit their children. But no, what did the money go to? It went to Tiffany Hangard's Birkin bags. It went to her Mark Jacobs tote bags. OK, it went to Tiffany Hangard's. Uh, her trips. It went to her Amazon shopping sprees. Okay, she had. To, it went to her performances. She's hiring. She's she's um got artists performing for thirty k. God dang, bro! You don't 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 damn their OT seven Kwani numbers. Like <laughs> what? She said she got artists performing. She paid to do fifty bands. Those is OT seven Kwani numbers, bro. Like what is, bro? Nah, see, this is where y'all done. This is where y'all, this is where I got to put it on the people of Dalton. See, now you done, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. <laughs> see, you done fucked up because look at what you done did. You cannot get yourself out of this. This is not something that you can just reverse. You can never hit rewind once you do something this foolish. This is why I have to actually put a lot of this on the blame of the people of Dalton. Why would, why did you guys think that Tiffany Anger was going to be a good mayor? Why? Why did you think that? There was nothing in this world that would make you believe that. Nothing. There is no logical thought process that would make you that would make you come to the conclusion that Tiffany Hanyard was going to be a fit mayor to run the town of Dalton. Okay? There is no logical there is no logical thought process that could lead to that conclusion. 
Nothing. Nothing. You cannot drop anything in the comments. The only thought process that could lead to that conclusion is a progressive, emotional, idiotic, illogical, illogical <laughs> thought process that will lead you to that type of conclusion. Okay? Only an emotional, progressive, illogical type of thought process will bring you to a conclusion such as that Tiffany Hanger could run the town of Dalton. Because no one, even a five-year-old with my intellect, could tell you that that was, that that was foolish. Even the five-year-old with a normal intellect, not even my own, even a five-year-old with average intellect, not a five-year-old, but a ten-year-old with average intellect could tell you, okay? A ten-year-old, a ten-year-old with average intellect could tell you that Tiffany Anger would not be a fit mayor, bro. No. <laughs> no, bro. Does she look like a leader, bro? No, bro. No. Like, she look like she'll get crunched out here, bro. Like, what are you leading? You can't lead nothing, bro. She probably can't even lead her own house. She can't even lead her own household, I bet. So how is she, how is she gonna lead the town of Dalton? She'll get crunched out here. She don't stand a chance in this world. She don't, she don't stand a chance in this world. She'll get crunched out here, boy. Come on now. You get crunched. You get crunched out here. See what happened to you. Now you gotta now you gotta now you gotta fess up. Now you gotta turn yourself in, bruh. You getting crunched out here, bruh. You didn't stand a chance in this world trying to be a mayor, trying to lead the old bitty town of Dalton. No, you can't do it. You weakling. Stop. You, you should have never been elected, you fool. This is what happens, you see? Yeah. So, sorry, you guys. Um, little allergies. But, um... But, yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below, y'all, man. This is crazy, bro. The Tiffany Haynard situation is crazy. Yeah, Haynard. You don't even deserve your name to be pronounced correctly after you just robbed these people like that. Haynard. Tiffany Haynard. Okay, the Tiffany Haynard situation is crazy, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. It snows right here. Be easy, y'all.